Well, we are into the last few seconds of Wembley Stadium, uh, Marlon. They had uh, four minutes added on. They've played four and a half, but still going. No, I'm just waiting, waiting for the whistle to go because Lincoln's had a lot of balls been thrown into the box where they, the defenders had to defend. Um, it's just nail-biting stuff at the moment now. Just gone, uh, one of the players gone down for a head injury, but hopefully just waiting for the ref to blow the whistle now just to finish the game. If they did, the Blackpool has been absolutely fantastic through the whole game, considering going down 1-0. Yeah, we've seen the goalkeeper, haven't we, for corners, for Lincoln. They've thrown everything at it. Yeah. Oh, I just thought that was the whistle there. But, yeah, they've been literally... The ball's going to be coming into the box now from the keeper. Yeah. It's just a last minute, isn't it, isn't it? Really, it's just going to pump it forward. Be in. Yeah. Yeah, it's all in the box. Everyone's. No. <laughs> the ball's coming on. It's not a way yet, is it? Ball. It's going to be a corner. Oh, it's down by the corner flag. The corner. <laughs> He's surrounded, trying to get a corner. Great defended, free yeah. kick. Blackpool, get it away. Oh, oh then it's on the side of the though. box. <laughs> And now he's on the break. Blackpool's on the break. Free kick. Goodness. Back to the keeper. Yes! Whistle's gone. That is oh, it. Oh, wow. What a game. What a game. Oh. Yeah. What a game. Kenny Dougal, man of the match. Two goals for him, for Neil Critchley's size. They've beaten Michael Atherton's team by two goals to one. Uh, this after conceding an own goal in the very first minute of the game. You can see what it means to the players. Uh, Marlon, they put in an absolutely massive effort this afternoon. They have, they have put in a, a biggest shift I've seen for a long while. Blackpool, especially after going a, going a goal down, it's always hard doing that, but they have showed some determination, character, how they want, they definitely want to go into, get to win this game, and they've been absolutely fantastic. Jerry Yates up front, he, he has worked his absolutely socks off, literally chased everything. Um, fair play to the lad, he's set, obviously got his rewards set, in the, set in the, for the second goal. Um, he, he's been fantastic, but the two great finishes, no, Blackpool well deserved it. Yeah, they've been through the mill, Blackpool and their fans over the years, haven't they? They have, they have. It's a fantastic club and it's a shame that they had to go through that. But obviously it's testament to the club now, what they want to try and achieve. Um, they've, they've actually played fantastic today and they full deserved. And what, what about uh, Neil Critchley? He came, of course, from Liverpool. He's put himself in the hot seat. <laughs> well, man, this, this game has been crazy. I, I do feel sorry for Lincoln because um, their, their front three was if they if they neutralised them in the whole game. Because at the first minute they were they were on seeing. They was on the front foot. Brendan Johnson down the right hand side. He he was fantastic up the first ten minutes, but I just couldn't get the ball to him. Him and Rogers, but Blackpool just fully deserved the performance that they've give off to, to win this game. Yeah, and what a relief for uh, Ollie Turton it was as well. Marlon, thank you so much for being with us and guiding it through the game this afternoon. No, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. It was quite an event. It's Blackpool who have been promoted to the championship at 2-1 when they conceded an own goal inside the first minute. Kenny Dougal, though, with a double. And it's Blackpool who will be playing in the championship come next season.